I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. The reading for Sunday, May 23rd, Day of Pentecost, is found in John, the 15th chapter, verses 26 and 27, and John the 16th chapter, verses 4b through 15. But when the Counselor comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, even the Spirit of Truth, who proceeded from the Father, will bear witness to me. And you also are witnesses, because you have been with me from the beginning. I did not say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you, but now I am going to him who sent me, and yet none of you ask me, where are you going? But because you are going, but because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away, for it, I do not go away. The Counselor will not come to you, but if I go, I will send him to you. And when he will be, and, and when he comes, he will convince the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Because the ruler of the world of this world is judged. I have yet many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of Truth comes, He will guide you into all the truths, for He will not speak on His own authority, but whatever He hears, He will speak, and He will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify Me, for He will take what is Mine and declare it to you, that all the Father has, all the Father, all that the Father has is Mine. Therefore, I said that He will take what is Mine and declare it to you. The word of the Lord. What a day of joy Pentecost is. Many congregations celebrate by wearing red, the color of fire, and symbolic of the Holy Spirit. Worship may incorporate dancing in multiple languages. As Jesus promises the coming of the Spirit to all, I picture him with a huge smile. In the Greek used by John, the evangelist, Jesus introduces the spirit of truth with the word parakletos, meaning advocate, counselor, guide, helper. The spirit of truth, said Jesus, aware that his death is imminent, will guide you into all the truth. Whatever would happen to the flesh and blood Jesus, the Holy Spirit would be his disciples' constant companion and ours. We can't keep this news to ourselves. Would you keep the news of a child's birth to yourself? No. With the coming of the Spirit, the church is birthed as a new reality of love and peace. We are called to testify in all that we do to the joyful news that the Spirit of Truth is among us. Our advocate, counselor, helper, and God. Alleluia. Our prayer. Spirit of Truth, thank you for being our guide to God's truth for this world. In Jesus' name, amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.